Welcome to the project demonstration of ECG monitoring and disease detection system by using machine learning with the help of Raspberry Pi 3 B board here. So in this version we added the extra disease detection and that will be analyzed by the machine learning algorithm which we have coded inside this Raspberry Pi 3. Okay, And that will be analyzed and displayed on the LCD screen and also same status will be uh, sent to the mobile phone through the Blink application. So here we are using the algorithm for uh, decision tree algorithm in uh, machine learning and uh, so in this manner we are going to receive the messages on the LCD screen. So here the process is as we know that Raspberry Pi doesn't consist of inbuilt ADC uh, feature so for that purpose we are going to convert this analog data which is coming out from this AD8832 uh, ECG module and that will be processed by the UNO board and uh, that was connected at the A0 pin as an analog input from this one and 10 and 11 pins to detect the lead out lead in pins from this one and then the data will be converted to analog to digital in this Arduino you know and uh, we are going to convert that uh, digital data into the serial and that data will be given as input to the Raspberry Pi 3 and it will process that uh, and then it will provide us the data on the LCD screen based on the data checking so here there are the two modes one is for the manual mode and there is the auto mode so auto mode like directly we are going to uh, provide this data input to the system and the manual mode nothing but data set mode so there we need to select the which data set we are going to provide to the system instead of same data input coming out from the Arduino you know so that will be analyzed by the Raspberry Pi 3 it doesn't know that whether it is a uh, like uh, getting from the Arduino you know when it is in data set mode so there is an Arduino you know, or data set uh, which is already we have predefinedly loaded inside this memory card. So when we select the respective data sets, then it will analyze that, compare the data, and if it is near to the disease, then it, that will be displayed on the LCD screen. Right. So yeah, this is the breadboard. Just in order to distribute the five volts of power supply throughout the boards, and AD8232, uh, Arduino, you know, breadboard, Raspberry Pi 3, and LCD display and selection switches. So let us see the demonstration. So right, actually uh, before on the system, then we need to enable the hotspot in your phone. So by using your hotspot only, the system will send the data to the Blink application by using your hotspot and a data. Right. So we need to change the hotspot name to five six zero four, and a password should be one two three four five six seven eight nine, and AP band should be uh, two point four gigahertz. So on the hotspot and data. So after that. Log into the Blink application, right? So now the device is offline. So after you switch on the kit, then the system automatically logged in and welcome message will be displayed on the LCD screen. And then after uh, we can see the same message on the LCD screen also. It will take maximum 20 to 30 seconds of duration. After that only it will uh, monitor the data, whether it is a manual mode or auto mode. It will check that and based on the check it will load the data set it will take much time then just restart that right so you can see that the device is online now right it's initialized and now it's connected so place the probes properly so let us go with the data set mode right so here is the data set mode okay and it is automatic checking mode right so coming to the data set mode let us load the data sets so the data set 2 is loading now so we can see the same message alerts on this one same messages will be sent to the right so in this version we added the other uh, four diseases and one is loading So let us mount this properly on your hand. So this one is a right. So I am mounting these electrodes. 
and this one is a left and right now select it to the data set more right so now it is normal status so slowly it will be calculated place the electrodes properly rather like a gel then it will detect that right okay so when manually creating the errors so we will get the like uh, error alerts same on your mobile phone also blink application right